Okay, so welcome back to another video. So today's video is simple. We just want to find what the exact value of cosine of pi divided by five is equal to. So in the past, I actually did a video of solving what the exact value of sine of pi divided by five is. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description below. The entire video of that process is related to just using just simple trigonometry identities and all that stuff. Here for cosine of pi divided by five, the more traditional way on how to solve for its value is applying some complex analysis, specifically um, utilizing the roots of unity, but we're actually not going to be doing that. Another way you can do this is actually simply just using some trick identities as well, but I think the most interesting part slash the fun part where we're going to be actually um, solving this out is actually through a geometric approach that involves using an isosceles triangle. So. I just don't want to give too much out that we'll be starting that as our baseline and then solving for the value using geometry from there, which this is actually a really cool proof that I think a lot of you guys should um, pay close attention to. But with that, let's actually just jump right in. So let's suppose that we draw an isosceles triangle and we label the vertices A, B, and C. So keep in mind, my drawings are not drawn to be scale because I am not an artist, as I say every single time. So with this in mind, I have vertices A, B, and C over here, whereas we have our angles over here, this is gonna be three pi divided by five, over here is gonna be pi divided by five, and then angle at C is pi divided by five. So the next thing what I'll do is we'll actually draw a line segment AD such that the point D is actually connected in between the lines BC and such that angles BAD is actually equal to pi divided by five. So something in this perspective looks something like this, so over here, this is pi divided by five, and then this is our segment point D over here. Okay, and with this in mind, you'll notice that triangle DAB and DAC, they're actually both isosceles triangles. As you see, if I actually film the gaps pi over five, pi over five, then over here, this is gonna be three pi divided by five. So filling in this, this is two pi divided by five. And then from over here, we actually did the subtraction over here. So this length is gonna be two pi divided by five, just like that. So we have two isosceles triangle, DAB, and then DAC. Okay, so now where do we go from here? So now let's actually give some length to the line segments. So let us suppose that we let line segment AB, AC, and DC equal to one. So one over here, and then AC is gonna be one over here. Again, this is isosceles triangle, and then DC is equal to one over here. And so now what we'll do is we'll actually let this line segment B, BC will let this equal X, okay? So notice that, and to make things a little bit helpful that I'll actually draw two separate triangles just to see the comparison. But what it is, is you'll notice that triangles DAB is similar to the whole in triangle ABC. So to draw this out to a better perspective, so let me, put, let me draw the triangles out first. So as you notice that, again, not drawn to scale, so ABC is this entire, entire isosceles triangle that I just drew, and then DAB is the section of that triangle that I label with the radians. You'll notice that these are actually both similar triangles. So with this in mind, so what I'll do is we'll actually make the, compare with the ratio that we say that line segment BD divided by AC it's the same thing as equal to line segment AC divided by BC. And now if I actually just put everything back together with what we label with the lengths, so we have that BD is the same thing as X minus one because X is uh, equal to line segment BC and then we subtract the line segment of DC. So X minus one and then length of AC is going to equal to just one. And then we have AC is yet again, just one. And then BC is going to just equal to the entire line segment, just X. So if I solve this out, so I have X then multiply with X minus one is equal to one. So X squared minus X equals one. Let me subtract one to both sides. So we have X squared minus X minus one is equal to zero. Now we just solve for X using the quadratic formula. I think you, you guys can already figure out this is a special equation. But to just put everything back together, I have that with this is gonna be one plus or minus the square root of five and then divided by two. But keep in mind that X is dealing with the positive length. And so therefore that means that we're just dealing with a positive value. So X is equal to one plus the square root of five divided by two, AKA that's the same thing as the golden ratio number. So therefore X, AKA line segment BC is equal to um, the golden ratio number one plus the square root of five divided by two. So we're not, but however, we are not done because we actually want to find what cosine of pi divided by five is equal to. 
Well, this last step is actually just simple from here. So cosine of pi divided by five. Looking at over here, this is cosine of angle B. Then what that means is that what I can do is we can actually, if I were to draw a line, um, straight line down so that it's actually perpendicular to BC. So let me actually just put this back like that. We don't need to label the vertices, that's okay. So we can actually just apply a Pythagorean theorem. So that means I have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So in other words, this is actually just the length line segment BC, but then divide that by half. So we have, you know, two equal triangles of the entire thing. So that means what we'll have now is that this is just BC divided by two, and then the hypotenuse length, which is line segment AB. And so this means this will yield us with just phi divided by two, and then AB is just equal to one. And so therefore, cosine of pi divided by five is equal to just phi divided by two, which therefore completes the uh, evaluation of cosine of pi divided by five a, in a different approach without having to use complex analysis just like that. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me.